when we have children, I'm going to be able to do all the things that Phil and Dave have been saying that they're now going to do with their kids. And just, you know, I want Sarah to not wake up during the night and wonder if I'm still breathing. You know, I don't want her to go to work and come home and not know whether or not I'm going to die or not, you know, and I think being at 100 kilos is going to give her that. Thanks, Shannon. You can step down. Now that I know that I weigh 165 kilos, that light at the end of the tunnel is getting closer and closer. And I just hope that I can stay here and, and reach my goal or at least as close as possible because now I actually have a life to go to. Next to weigh in will be Lisa. Lisa, come on up. Lisa is definitely emerging as a huge threat in this competition. I think that she could definitely become the first female biggest loser and I'd prefer Caitlin to take out that title than Lisa. Lisa, last week you weighed 96 kilos. Your current weight is... 89.8 kilos. That's a loss of... 6.2 kilos. Lisa, that gives you a total weight loss percentage of... 6.46%. Well done. Yeah. Moves you into second place. Congratulations. 6.2. Is that what you were expecting? No. I had it in my head that to get blown. No one needs to get Lisa, why is it so emotional to be under 90? My kids have never seen me under 90. I think all mums know that's what you want. You want your children to be proud of you in every way. And as much as my kids have always told me they are, this will be something they can be even proud of. So, Lisa, did you ever imagine at the halfway mark you'd be under 90? No. I, um, so far I've lost four each week, so I was sort of thinking, you know, I've probably got two weeks to get below 90, um, so to do it this week's great. You must be extremely proud of yourself. I am. It's good. Thank you, Lisa, if you can step down. It was really good to see Lisa had lost 6.2, and it's just satisfying knowing that she's above the other line and safe. It was really good. The next person to weigh in will be David. Right, Dave. My knees started shaking straight away. I was extremely nervous and just hoping that, you know, everything that I'd done this week was, was enough to get me through. David, last week you weighed 122.9 kilos. Your current weight is... It also puts you into third place. I almost feel reborn this week. I'd almost dare to go as far as to say the injuries aren't hurting as much this week, even though I know they are, but just mentally I'm, I'm dealing with that better now because I, I, I feel a different person. David, you told Michelle that you're ashamed of the person that you were. What did you mean by that? Um, you know, whilst that was probably the hardest day I've had here at, at Camp Biggest Loser, it's probably been my best day. I've learnt so much and I realise how far I've come and, you know, I realise, you know, what that, that person was. I mean, I look up at that, that banner up there, Haley, and, you know, I don't know who that person is now. I feel like despite all the crap that I've been through in 20 years, I, I finally feel like I've actually stood up and been counted and, and I actually feel, you know, like I'm probably more of a human being for doing it. Thanks, David. You can step down. Thanks, Haley. After David weighed in, he was uh, a high percentage than me, so he pushed me closer to that line. And I just kept thinking, OK, I'm going to be up for elimination. The next person to weigh in is Jana. Jana, come on up. Let's go, Jana. 
I'm either going to pull a great number and I'm going to be safe this week or I'm going to pull a shocking number, which means I go home. Jana, last week you weighed 97 kilos. Your current weight is... 90.5 kilos. Oh. <laughs> That's a loss of... 6.5 kilos. Jana, that gives you a total weight loss percentage of... 6.70%. And puts you into second place. Well done. I turn around to Lisa and I'm like, is that percentage right? It just seemed bizarre that I just went straight up to second position and that I was automatically safe. Jana, 6.5 kilos, that's an amazing loss. How are you feeling? Really, really wanted to uh, get down into the 80s and join Lise down there, but uh, 90.5 is great and I've guaranteed myself another week in the competition, so pretty damn happy about that. Thanks, Johnny. You can step down. Oh, my gosh. How cool is that? You know, I am safe. But more importantly than that, this means that this game, how I play it, is within my control. Well, we're nearly halfway through this weigh-in, and, Phil, you're sitting comfortably in first position. While, Shannon, you're getting closer to the yellow line. But there's still five of you left to weigh in, and anything can happen. So let's bring up the next contestant. Rick, it's your turn to weigh in. Come on up. Walking up to them scales, you're thinking to yourself, have you done enough? Have you eaten right this week? Yeah, I couldn't wait to get it over with. Rick, last week you weighed 133 kilos. Your current weight is... 122.3 kilos. That's a loss of 10.7 kilos. 10.7 kilos? I was shocked. You know, I haven't lost that much since probably, you know, first week. Uh, it's massive for me and I couldn't believe it. And Rick, that gives you a total weight loss percentage of... 8.05%. Moving you into second place. Well done. It is a bit bittersweet, you know, we're very competitive and on the old twin brother, so it was great to see him pull a number like that and know he's safe for another week, but it was going to be hard for me to beat him. Rick, how does it feel to be so close to your goal weight? Feels awesome, Haley. 12.3 kilos away from my goal. Even though you're so close to getting to your goal weight, do you still feel like you need to be here and want to be here? Before I come to Camp Biggest Loser, I found out my girlfriend was two months pregnant. Literally like three days before I got on a plane. That was one of the hardest decisions I've ever made to, to leave her and get on that plane. And it's been a decision I've been struggling with since I got here. But to see that I can still apply myself in training, to still lose good numbers, I'm happy about that. Having lost so much weight, do you feel like your body's changing into an athlete's? <laughs> I'm still 120 kilos, but I think I'm looking all right. And oh, turn up. I don't know <laughs> what I'm going to look like when I'm 110, but. I might be pretty skinny. It's too ugly, brother. Oh. <laughs> That's not nice. Thanks, Rick. You can step down. Uh, 172 kilos, well, I probably wouldn't have been a good dad. And now that I'm 122 kilos, I'm definitely going to be a good dad. And I can't wait to be a father. The next person to weigh in is Joe. Come on up, Joe. Come on. Hi, Joey. I knew when Joe was getting up on the scales that he was going to post a big number. He'd been training with Phil all week and so it was likely that Joe was going to post a fairly good number and that was going to push me further down the table. I was really starting to get worried. Joe, last week you weighed 141.9 kilos. Your current weight is... 
9.3 kilos. Joe, that gives you a total weight loss percentage of 6.55% and puts you into fourth place. Well done. I was a little bit disappointed I didn't beat Rick because we are competitive, but he's himself and I'm myself, so I, that's, I pulled 9.3 kilos and I'm happy with that. Joe, if your dad was to walk in now, Jeez. how do you think he'd feel? Yeah, he should be emotional, I think, if the old man walked in. Um, he'd be proud as gold, you know, at 132, so that goes for all my family. Like, my sister's always pushed both me and Rick in dieting, and it's a funny story, she kept a heap of jeans for me that... I used to wear when I was a kid and she said, you'll fit back into them one day. I'll just laugh her and say, throw them out. Well, I can say, sir, throw them out because I'm not going to fit into them now. They're going to be too big. Caboolture won't know what hit it when I get home, Haley. It's going to be good fun. It, I just can't think what it's going to be like to be able to walk into a clothes and just go, yeah, I'll have a medium shirt, thanks, you know. It's just stuff I've never done and I just look forward to it. Thanks, Joe. You can now join the others. Thanks, Haley. Last time he was fit and healthy, he was playing you know, A-grade football and he was really confident and a really strong person. You know, I can't wait for him to get back down to his goal weight and you know, be confident again. Next to weigh in will be Dana. Dana, to secure yourself another week at Camp Biggest Loser, you need to beat David by losing at least 4.9 kilos. Let's see if you've done it. Come on up. Good luck, Dee. Good luck, Dee. I was feeling really nervous. I didn't think that I could pull 4.9 kilos after losing five kilos a week before. I didn't know if I could back it up again. And I was just hoping that I could maybe pull it off by some miracle. Dana, last week you weighed 83.7 kilos. Your current weight is... 81.5 kilos, giving you a loss of 2.2 kilos. That gives you a total weight loss percentage of 2.63%. Dana, that puts you into eighth place and dangerously close to falling below the other line. When I saw that I'd slotted in below Shannon on the leaderboard and getting really close to the yellow line, I was certain that I would be under there, but I didn't know who it would be with. I was hoping that it would be with Shannon or Phoebe or Dave, but definitely not Caitlin. What's upsetting you? I just know how much Caitlin needs to be here. And if that means I fall under the yellow line and it's not Caitlin's name, I don't care. Because it's about getting her life back as well. And she still has so far to go. And my goal is within reach. And I just want her to stay here as long as possible. And it's not about winning The Biggest Loser or winning money. It's about her getting her life back. It was hard to see Dana so emotional. She is generally scared that I won't continue on if I do get voted out. You know, every time I see her up here on these scales and the weight that she loses, she just gets happier and happier. And I just want to see her continue to grow and grow into the amazing woman that I know she is. Thanks, Dana. You can step down. I was just so upset and disappointed because I know that how hard she works and, yeah, she's just unbelievable. Well, there's just two people left to weigh in. The next person up on the scales will be Phoebe. Phoebe, to stay above the yellow line and safe from elimination, you need to beat Shannon by losing at least 5.2 kilos. Phoebe, how confident are you? I'm a little bit terrified. I don't think I've worked to my full potential, so I wouldn't be surprised if I was under the line this week. All right, Phoebe, let's find out how you've gone. It's time to weigh in. 
When Hayley said I needed 5.2 kilos to stay safe, I thought, it just sounds like such a massive number, and I was going to just take it on the chin. Phoebe, last week you weighed 93.5 kilos. Your current weight is... When Hayley said I needed 5.2 kilos to stay safe, I thought, it just sounds like such a massive number, and I was going to just take it on the chin. Phoebe, last week you weighed 93.5 kilos. Your current weight is... 87.8 kilos. That's a loss of... 5.7 kilos. Phoebe, that gives you a total weight loss percentage of 6.1%. That puts you into sixth place and safe for another week. Congratulations. I don't think I've ever felt this proud of myself. Nothing has ever brought me this amount of pride in myself. Phoebe, when you first came here, you were a 19-year-old girl that weighed 116 kilos. What type of life did you lead then? Look, I think I led a pretty dull life. Mine was a bit like Shan. I watched a lot of movies with my boyfriend and I didn't do anything. I, didn't, I stopped going out with my friends because I felt embarrassed all the time. And... and do you think that'll change when you get home? I think it's already changed. It's changed here. In what ways? I train for one. I get up and <laughs> I go outside or I can look at myself in a full-length mirror. I'm going to buy one of those when I get home. That's what I'm going to do for the first time. Thanks, Phoebe. You can now step down. When she got up there and pulled 5.7, it was like, yeah, another bottle of champagne moment. <laughs> Dana, this means you are now officially below the yellow line and will be facing elimination. The last person to weigh in is Caitlin. Caitlin, to beat Shannon and stay above the yellow line, you need to lose at least eight kilos. If you don't succeed, you will be facing elimination alongside your sister Dana. Caitlin, do you think you've done enough to stay safe this week? I've either absolutely smashed it or I've stuffed it up and we'll both be under, so you'll just have to wait and see, I guess. Well, Caitlin, the moment of truth has arrived. It's time to weigh in. Come on up. Good luck, Caitlin. Good luck, when Hayley said that Caitlin had to lose eight kilos in order to stay above the yellow line, I was really worried that our worst case scenario would come true. Caitlin, last week you weighed 143.3 kilos. Your current weight is... 136.9 kilos. That's a loss of... Six... 0.4 kilos. Caitlin, that gives you a total weight loss percentage of 4.47%. That pushes you below the yellow line and into ninth place. Caitlin, you're now facing elimination alongside your sister Dana. Dana is ultimately going to try and sacrifice herself for me to stay here and if the boys do go with what Dana wants then, you know, she will. Caitlin, whether it's here or on the outside, do you think you can continue this journey of weight loss without Dana? <laughs> I think if Dana was to go home, you know, I've formed such amazing relationships with, you know, Joey, Rick. You like my brothers, Phil and Dave, especially you, Philly. And Phoebes has been like a younger sister. So if Dana goes, Michelle won't know what's hit her. I'll fight to 
tenfold than what I've done. Purely for her.